On day three, we're discovering that God is a friend we can trust. Ocean currents and water pressure create constant movement in the ocean. When life is moving and changing, we can trust our friend God. To gear up for these discoveries, let's prep a water bottle. Using a thumbtack, poke holes all the way around the middle of each full capped water bottle, about half an inch apart. The water will leak a little, especially as you keep poking holes, but most of the water will stay put if you keep the cap on the bottle. Make one of these bottles for each crew in rotation. Keep the bottles upright in a waterproof container. I'm reusing the lasagna pan from day two. Now, let's experiment with water pressure. You'll ask, would you believe me if I told you that this water bottle is full of holes? Why or why not? It might be hard to believe, but your water bottle is actually full of little holes. The water isn't leaking out of the bottle because there's no pressure to push it out. But let's see what happens when we add pressure on the top of the water by letting some air into the top of the bottle. Untwist the cap just a little. Don't take it off completely. And look. Then tighten the cap to stop it. Trust me. Every kid will want to try this out. It might not feel like it, but air has weight. The weight of the air coming through the cap created pressure that pushed water out through the holes. But there are other ways to create pressure, like this. God is a friend we can trust. That means even when we feel a lot of pressure, we can turn to God for help. Kids love the surprise and discovery of this in their crews, and the pans kept the water contained and easy to clean up. Way out in the middle of the ocean, currents are moving under the water. On day three, we'll do an experiment to help us picture what ocean currents might look like. Crews will need a tidal tablet from the crew teaching kit, some pepper, and a jar of water. The jar will represent ocean water, there's nothing in the water. We need to put some things in our ocean. Remember, God made the seas full of animals and plants. Let's sprinkle pepper into the jar without touching or shaking the jar. The pepper should mostly cover the surface of the water. Be sure to let kids get involved in adding pepper to their cruise jar. Simply watching a demonstration isn't nearly as memorable as doing the experiment. Hold up your jar with pepper in it. Right now, our ocean doesn't have any currents, so the pepper's staying still. Let's add something that will make the currents start moving. Crews will add the tidal tablets to their jars and observe what happens. If possible, have crew leaders hold the jar up so it has a window or light-colored background behind it. Life, like the ocean, is always changing, but God doesn't change. Those changes can make our hearts feel worried or churned up like this water. But God is always the same. No matter what changes come our way, God is a friend we can trust. And there's still more fun to explore on day three. Ocean currents wash lots of things up on the beach, like this. Sand dollars like this one are just the shell of something that was alive. When sand dollars are alive, they can move on their own in the ocean. They're covered in tiny spines and have tube feet to help them move along the ocean floor. Now, some scientists have wondered how something this small and light can stop moving where the currents are so strong close to the shore. The answer is that sand dollars can sort through the sand and swallow little pieces of something in sand called magnetite. The magnetite works like an anchor and holds them in place. Let's think about something. How does God help us stay strong when life gets rough? God can be like the magnetite a sand dollar eats, anchoring us even when life is moving and changing all around us. Crews will each get the surprising sand dollar from their crew teaching kits. Now, what do you think you'd see if I broke this sand dollar in half? I hope you trust me when I tell you that something very cool is inside. Let's find out. When you break a sand dollar in half, 
small pieces that look like doves will fall out. Those little doves were once the teeth of a sand dollar. I told you there'd be something cool inside. This is really powerful for each crew to do. Kids were so surprised and couldn't wait to see. Plus, with each crew getting its own sand dollar, kids can see the small pieces up close and can each take home a sand dollar too. Here's a field test finding. We weren't very clear in our instructions to crew leaders, and one team leader smashed the sand dollar into hundreds of tiny pieces. Make sure you emphasize that they only need to break it into a few pieces, sort of like breaking up a cookie to share.